In this lesson, we'll take a look at a few basic ideas behind developing a great resume. TeachUComp offers a comprehensive course on resume development, so be sure to look out for that. For now, let's look at some general guidelines to keep in mind when writing your resume. First, keep it on the short side. Although there is some debate regarding whether or not a resume absolutely has to be one page or less, most employment professionals agree that it's a good idea to craft your resume so that it packs a punch, and that can be done by removing extraneous or irrelevant material. For example, even though being captain of the college chess team was relevant when you first wrote your resume, it might be time to take that out. Removing some of the fluff from your resume, such as hobbies, sports, and early education, will make the really impressive points stand out. A short resume also demonstrates respect for the employer's time. Keep in mind, yours is not the only resume that the interviewer will have to read. Second, account for all of your time. If you have a large gap in your employment, fill it with something. Chances are good that you weren't sitting at home doing nothing during gaps in your employment. Fill such gaps by talking about additional training, education, or even volunteer work that you've been doing. Find a way to include whatever you've done to make yourself a better employee during the time when you weren't working. Your study through TeachUComp definitely counts. Once you have the content of your resume the way you like it, go over the details with a fine-tooth comb. Double-check spelling, grammar, and dates. Keep your font size between 10-point and 12-point, and avoid using novelty typefaces. Arial looks great. Make sure that your margins are consistent. And when printing your resume, use quality paper and make sure that the watermark on the paper faces the same way as the printing on your resume. Paying attention to these things demonstrates to prospective employers that you are methodical and that you have an eye for detail. And when hundreds of people apply for the same position, some employers will weed candidates out based on very small mistakes on the resume. Before sending your resume to an employer, show it to as many of your friends and family as possible. They will catch things that you missed, and they might know about job interviews, too.